Hello, Pisces. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Pisces. You got somebody going crazy. Okay, the song that was playing when I was shuffling your cards is called um, Go Crazy. <laughs> By Chris Brown and Young Thug. He said, what really stuck out to me was bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, Pisces. Laid up got me thinking, babe. Tell me if you with it, because I'm with it, baby. I haven't heard, wait, haven't heard from you in a minute, babe. Just tell me what to do when I get it. <clears throat> okay. Gucci and Prada, okay. Trips to your crib in the middle of the night. I know that you miss me because I put it down right. And somebody's got an ego. <laughs> Are you dealing with a fire sign? Damn, babe, I can put you on a flight you know that mm, <laughs> you know that mm, like me can change your life I don't like to use so many I, I don't know who I was watching you know what I mean so I try not to put some of those words out there but somebody wanted back Pisces some of you may need to take a trip to the sea some of you may live overseas Somebody may have traveled and came back and it's like you you love when they make you love when y'all make up or they love when you make up. I feel like this is somebody you love their dirty draws, but I don't know, I'm getting what am I feeling, Pisces? Let's see what's going on with you. Three of Cups in the reverse. Maybe this is something that fizzled out between the two of you very quickly or there was an ending between the two of you or maybe you're feeling like you shouldn't reconnect with this person. Somebody's like, tell me again. Some of you just want an end to the drama, you know. Some of you just want that to be over. This person broke your heart and I feel like you gave up. There was a lot of confusion between the two of you it could have been a lot of, it could be still a lot of resentment on your part just not really wanting this anymore maybe you found out things about this person that made you question them that may and you just like i don't want to i don't want to have to ask no damn questions about you maybe there was a lack of commitment whatever it was you said no now I, this i don't see this going anywhere i feel like it's what you said so i need to put an end to this but I think you've really been thinking about going back. But you haven't communicated that or you haven't acted on that because maybe you're feeling, oof, feeling some, you're not feeling stable in making that decision because y'all's relationship was messed up. The masculine could have been um, easily distracted. <laughs> Or maybe he was lazy or like irresponsible in some way. Um, but I feel like maybe he's getting his shit together here. Like he's coming out of some sort of fog. Like maybe during the time there was a lot of like, uh, I don't know, he could have been distracted from like the mundane, like not cleaning up the house, not paying the bills. Like there was some kind of instability. Could have been a lack of commitment too. And I, in my eyes, that is a lack of commitment. If you check out on me, like, if, if, if somebody dies or, I don't know, some, you know, major life events happen and people do shut down, you know what I mean? And it don't matter how long you've been with a person, something major happens, you don't know how that person is going to react to that. But I feel like there was something that happened here. And either way, however you shut down or however, you, whatever happened here, um, Sometimes it's not about what happened. Sometimes it's about the way it affected us. Sometimes it's about, um, I mean, I know this happened, but, you know, it's kind of like, hmm, this is a good example. Well, just because I was depressed and I decided not to go to work, it doesn't mean that it's not going to reflect on my paycheck. What's that? Did that one register, Pisces? Doesn't mean it didn't affect the relationship. You know what I mean? 
Somebody here may have um, may have had an option too. What happened to this person? Somebody became very flighty. It's like they they stepped down from the position that they were supposed to be in. Or maybe there was a lack of accountability, a lack of emotional vulnerability. Um, somebody, it's like somebody kind of gave up here. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo. I feel like this is somebody you want to go back to, but they, somebody may drain you. Or maybe they feel like you're going to turn them down if they do come back. And I feel like you've been happier um, on your own. Because Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups in the reverse, but Ten of Cups. It's like together we... Together I wasn't so happy. Like something about our connection was actually thrown off. So if so, when I think about going back, I I, I, I take a pause. I mean, it's like it gives me pause to think about coming back to this because King of Swords in the reverse. This person could have been very hot and cold with you. This person um, could have, I don't know, it could be anger issues here or like a lack of mental agility in some way. Or it could be ind indecisiveness. But they want you. I think you may have shocked this person when you just started focusing on yourself and, and, and not them. I think you, you just, like, a light switch went off in you. And the song that's playing right now is called, How Many Times? How many times do you want to go through this, Pisces, with this person? Because I haven't seen anything that made me want to jump out of my seat. I think the masculine energy is very, um, it can be a Virgo that you're dealing with. I think they, they want to move on. Deep, or deep down they know that maybe they should. Could be a fire sign you all are dealing with. This person is heartbroken at the fact that you two are not reconnecting. At night they think about you. They think about, um, well, <laughs> <laughs> probably the thing you used to do okay they think about what you gave to them could be stability how happy you make them how they want to make plans with you and uh and or how things are moving slow now or, it's like i think you mean the world to this person but it's like they're losing hope and that that things can move forward they want to call you because they desire you but they you walked away the feminine the feminine is very avoidant. She feels disconnected from this person. Um, she's very much like, she just withdrew. She just, she went inside. She went away. She was stressed. She don't want to talk. Because she sees something clearly here. Maybe what was revealed to her is that I, I need to make peace with my trust issues with this person before I can make anything happen. So right now I'm guarded. I'm, 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 I need to let this go. Or I need, what's right for me is to let this go right now. The mutual energy between the two of you is an emotional attachment that neither, neither of us are acting on. 
the masculine being indecisive about making a solid offer towards this person because he wants that. But Pisces is on pause. You're thinking about moving on over here, perhaps even starting a new relationship, getting out of this funk, some mental clarity. Somebody here is not feeling good enough or feeling drained or feeling like something, you know, there's also like, I need, it's almost like when you've been traveling for 15 hours and you just need to take a shower, you know, would I be wasting my time reigniting this flame, you know what I mean? This is what someone is wondering. see Pisces if you were to reconnect with this person what would be the outcome I just heard guard your heart there's a difference in um, closing your heart off the business and guarding your heart just think about if you had like this precious jewel that was worth millions of dollars <laughs> Would you just have it sitting out on the coffee table? Hell no. So if you were to go back to this person and reconnect with this person, what would be the outcome? The magician in the reverse. The magician in the reverse. The magician has all the tools he needs to make anything happen, but in the reverse, he doesn't. Or he doesn't believe it. Or there could be somebody who's manipulative. Or maybe this is just something that doesn't need to happen and you need to let go of it. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Make peace with this connection. I'm seeing someone who needs to focus on themselves because once you get out of this, because sometimes we can be so like kind of clouded in this uh, place of grief or whatever, or whatever somebody did to you or whatever, right? We get in this way and, and, and when we're upset about something not going the way that we wanted it to go in this particular situation, then it's almost like we don't see that there's other opportunities, you know, for us. Sorry, I just got a text. We don't see the other uh, the other opportunities that are out there for us. And I feel like there's a queen here who, if you did focus, if you did just go within yourself, make peace with whatever's ended in this connection. It was a relationship. Make peace with the ending. Stop stressing about something here. What was given, what didn't give, or whatever. Let go of this, because I feel like this is causing like an imbalance in you. Okay, it's causing you not to see things very clearly, because if you do take this time to focus on yourself, you're gonna see some, you, your vibration's gonna, you're gonna start feeling better. And then there's so much things that's gonna open up for you, and you'll actually see the truth of why you may need to move on from this person. Oof. We see everything different when we're healed. There's something, there's some kind of time that you need to take to yourself to see. And when you come out of it, you're going to see this, this wasn't the one. This wasn't the one. King of Cups in the reverse, Emperor in the reverse. This wasn't the one. Five of Pentacles. It's going to help you to resolve whatever those insecurities that you were feeling. And, you know, because I felt like a lot of you wondered, am I wasting my time? This is an emotional attack. I feel like this is you letting go of the past. A lot of you are getting unstuck here. What was the, what was the question that I asked? Pisces, I wouldn't move forward on this right now. I wouldn't move forward on it. I think this is a chapter of your life that may be over. Cherry in the reverse, seven of wands in the reverse. How's the judgment here? 
if you can't, if it, if, if, you know how when you go to the store, Pisces, okay, honey, if it's within your budget and you see it and you want it, it's in that buggy. You're going to put it in the bag. You're going to have a receipt for it. If you just cannot figure out if you want it or not, nine times out of ten, you're going to leave it on the shelf. Why do we do that with our purchases, but we don't do that with our hearts? We do that with our, like, currency. It's like, I, I'm going to spend money on this. Like, if I got the money for it, if I got the love for it, the energy for it, then I'm going to spend it on this. But there's been a lot of indecision about that when it comes to this person. So is it just not working? Is it something that you should just not move forward with? You know what I mean? How? I hope that makes sense. Like how? How would you spend your money? Think of your love currency in the same way. Right? Anything else for Pisces? It's time to make a decision about this. I see a lot of you making a decision not to entertain this relationship. To Just kind of guard your heart. This person drains you. Every time you go back, you lose some strength. Is that what you want? To keep repeating a cycle that's not working? Or do you want to get unstuck, my love? Don't go back to this King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's time for you to let go. Be good to yourself, Pisces. You have a choice. And once you realize that maybe this wasn't the right choice for you, and you get to that point where you can see again, because a lot of times we can't see stuff when it's right up on us. You know, when we're in the thick of the emotions that it brought into our, you know, into our lives. But once you get through that, Pisces, you're going to see why this this couldn't happen. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. I'm going to leave you with this, Pisces, because I'm tired, honey. This is the seventh reading of the day. Number seven could be significant to you, too. Hmm. Where's your focus, Pisces? Your children only get one childhood. Make it memorable. I'm not sure who that's for. <laughs> Pearls are of no value in the desert. Okay, you're an empress. You need to be with an emperor. Okay. Last message, Pisces. <laughs> how are you feeling your time what are you thinking about Pisces because idleness idleness what did you say I did not forget what you said that fast idleness is the devil's playground honey that's what thing said that's what it meant okay idleness is the father there it is idleness is the father to all vices, okay? Idleness. Fill your time with your passions. That could be the other person, too. People can be vices. Drugs can be vices. Anything can be a vice. Be careful, honey. Let yourself get out of the thick of it before you make a decision. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.